Have you ever hesitated to ask for help from someone because you thought they were too busy? Welcome to the David Goad Show. Today's communication topic is about how to get help from experts and mentors. I was teaching a workshop one day and a young man came up afterwards and had a couple of follow-up questions and I was happy to answer. I love engaging with an audience before, during, and after any workshop that I do. And he was getting so excited with the information I was sharing, and he just kind of blurted out, will you be my mentor? And I got to be honest, I something clicked in my head and thought, well, what kind of commitment are we talking about? How much time? Is this a paid engagement or free? Uh, and it just got me thinking, what is the best way to ask an expert or somebody that's more senior in your industry uh, for the opportunity to pick their brain a little bit? And I've got three simple rules to follow that, that I'd recommend that'll help you get more help. And the first is to be specific. You know, sitting down with somebody over a lunch and saying, tell me everything you know, <laughs> it's just kind of overwhelming and a little scary. Uh, better to be specific. Pick one or two things you want to answer and drill in on and, and keep them short uh, because, you know, everybody's time is valuable. And these days, it's just not unusual to, to chunk your information down to little pieces instead of trying to get everything all at once. Break it down one at a time. Uh, be specific and keep it short. Even asking for a 20-minute virtual coffee break to delve into an issue uh, is a good thing. So be specific. Be short. And the third thing, ask that expert to refer you to other experts that you might talk to. Because at least for me, in my career, I always kept three, four, even five mentors available. I would spread it around so that I'm not burdening any one person a lot uh, with my rookie questions. Uh, so, so that's the advice to be specific, keep it short and spread it around. Uh, I think most people have a servant heart and love to help, especially people just coming up in their careers. Uh, but you have an obligation also to ask in a nice productive way. And I think it will help you get more expert advice to advance your career. That's the David Goat Show for today. Thanks for watching. And if you have a question about communication or speaking virtually or in person, put it in the comments down below and I'll be happy to do a show just for you.